This is some information that just don't get out much anymore. I, I mean, my wife was the one who discovered it. I used to tease her and tell her that she was the aluminum foil queen. You know, we and you see aluminum foil a lot of times, like in smoking especially. Uh, when they're smoking meats, you put the, the smoke to it, then you want to wrap it up in aluminum foil and let it sit there and heat. The problem is, when aluminum gets warm or hot, either one, it starts to permeate whatever you've got inside of it, whether it's a vegetable or a, a piece of meat, it goes into the food. Uh, cooking with, right here, cooking with aluminum pans, using aluminum foil, and drinking out of the aluminum bottles, as many people worried. Uh, and it's linked with a lot of health issues, Alzheimer's being the main one. And what it is, is when aluminum uh, is heated up and you ingest it, it's one of the few things that can cross what they call the blood-brain barrier and go into your brain. Uh, you know, they're talking about ingesting too much. Any fluoride too much fluoride. Fluoride only works topically. It is never meant to be ingested. So it works topically, but I'm not even going there on that. So when you put fluoride in your water, <laughs> give you a hint, fluoride makes you more placid. Because fluoride can also check across the blood-brain barrier. Hitler used fluoride in the drinking water at his concentration camps and death camps because it made people easier. People just was just like, so what? We'll just go along. So, you know, fluoride is not a good thing in your drinking water. And they may tell you we don't use fluoride in your drinking water, but there's another name which I escapes me right now. It's got another name that don't even sound like fluoride. It's kind of like MSG. MSG can be hidden in your food under 44 different names. Uh, but anyway, back to aluminum. Uh, it ends up, all soil has a certain amount of aluminum in it. And when you see these persistent contrails or chemtrails going through the sky streaking it that's killing the trees it ain't the heat it ain't the global warming or whatever they want to call it it's been proven that once they start that streak in the skies the ground becomes saturated with aluminum and it kills the trees uh, according to this the vast majority um, uh, amount won't pass into your bloodstream but it just takes a little uh, it's definitely been linked to Alzheimer's. And Alzheimer's is one of them little, kind of like cancer. That's their little cash cow. So they really don't want you to fix stuff with, you know, but they want you to get Alzheimer's. And unfortunately, when somebody old dies or gets Alzheimer's, it's like tearing up a whole set of encyclopedias. So young people, before us old people go nuts, you need to learn what you can. You know, teach a man to fish, or give a man a fish, you'll feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, and he'll never go hungry. Uh, that, that's the sort of mentality of it. And it's basically, I, I can do what I learned to do through my elders. And some of it I learned on my own, electronics I learned on my own. Uh, auto mechanics, but all the building and wiring and plumbing, all that uh, farming I learned on, from my great grandparents. Uh, so you better make time to, to spend a little time with them. Yeah, you'd be helping them, and they probably won't be able to pay you, but you'll get something more valuable than the money you want. But uh, anyhow. There, right here it says, similarly, when canned ravioli in acidic tomato sauce was cooked in aluminum, 
high levels of the metal leached into the food. Also, when you're out grilling, we used to take aluminum foil lay across the whole grill. And if I had, if I was grilling long enough, and I like to take my time because I want everything right. But a lot of times, you know, we'd have, Lord, one time we had 30, 30, 33 people. We was only going to feed about five. And these other people come down and, you know, we just made room. But I ended up with a migraine for days. Again, leached the aluminum, came up. You should not drink aluminum drinks in a can. Or eat your food out of aluminum can. Um, food additives. There's sodium aluminum phosphate. Sodium aluminum sulfate. Uh, you, you get that mostly in baking sodas and baking powders. And baking soda and baking powders, you can get it without it. You just have to make your, we got Food City here, which is kind of like Walmart. They don't like to carry much healthy stuff. So you just really got to put your thing down and say, no, we're not doing this. We're not going to buy this. If you're going to sell crap, you're going to eat it. Here's all kinds of alternatives. Locust bean, xanagum. Uh, if you want something gluten-free, and you want to thicken up whatever you're doing, you can use Xenogum. Uh, there's another one, too. I can't think of it right off the bat. My wife uses it. But there's all kinds of alternatives to... Uh, uh, who right there? MSG. That's bad. It's a uh, excitotoxin. But... Uh, anyway, you get on so many sites... I'm not familiar with this site, but there's a lot of sites that I am familiar with that they go over, you know, quite a bit of stuff. Uh, our, we'll, we'll touch on that while we're here. The effects on ingesting too much uh, fluoride. Uh, well... Maybe we won't. I thought it was a kidney toxicity, toxicity, dental fluorosis, gastrointestinal side effects, and other health risks, uh, including iodine that uh, is proper for your thyroid gland. I don't have a thyroid gland. I got burned out by radiation. It was in the way. Small so price to pay, though still be here. Uh, Cookware. Yeah, you do need to worry about it. This is probably a site that most people are... You gotta watch. Goodbye. I don't know this lady. This is aluminum is not easily absorbed through the digestive tract. Well, you don't have to worry about that when it goes to your brain. Uh, these people are all paid, I'm sure. There, there was a time when you could go on the internet. Yeah, you always got these crazy people that sit down and I think dream up this stuff. And you know they would get on and say this, that, and this. Thing. Most of theirs was full of manure. But then you had these people that was all pro, pro, pro. Snopes is the worst one. Never read Snopes. The most foulest, bought off, ignorantest people that there are out there. I would say what they really are. It's back of, from Israeli, but I never trust them. Poultry, especially breast meat, shows levels just over 200% more aluminum than was present before cooking. This is probably, and they can't pay these people off evidently. Aluminum foil is not suitable for cooking, especially acidic food. Uh, you can have, the food can be cold, and you can use the aluminum and it's perfectly fine. It's when the food is hot or warm. That's when 
it goes into the your food. Uh, aluminum foil can result in unacceptable high levels of aluminum contamination in food. A study showed that the aluminum concentration was connected in the type of meat. Uh, you know, and just I'll tell you when what my first thought when the light first went off and it wasn't really light basically when I just got slammed over the head with it it was when I was uh, doing my treatments for throat cancer or yeah and I done it down at UT and uh, it was a big room now it's not they're broke into pods they let me look at them one time and they're broken into pods of I think six phone rung right then somebody said that I could get my master and visa card paid for free because of COVID. Well, right. But anyway, back then it was a huge room. And everybody was sitting in that same room. Uh, and it circled around and the nurse's station was directly in the center of it. Well, doctors and nurses, I don't know. I don't know if they think everybody knows it or they just get tired of repeating it. But they, you don't learn half as much from a doctor or a nurse as you do listening to them tell somebody else or another patient telling you. And we heard this one woman had breast cancer and sitting beside of me. And I think we'd sit, sit, sit together one other time. Um, my wife was there and heard her. She looked over, and the nurse told her, she said, or the doctor, she looks over and she says, don't use any underarm deodorant or anything like that. It goes under your arms that contains aluminum because it will leach into them uh, lymph nodes or lymph glands and go into your whole body. And when her having breast, breast cancer, it's the last thing she wanted. See, we wouldn't have heard that nowadays because they got broken into pods of six. Um, we just wouldn't have heard it. And then that woman, that same woman, uh, a little later on, looked over at me and she said, What are you taking? And I said, I don't know. Then he said, Taxiturance is flat. So she looked at me and she said, Do not let metal touch your mouth. I said, why? Because it will break you out in sores and blisters. So I had to eat with uh, plastic utensils, which was no big deal, but that would have been definitely good knowledge for the doctor or the nurse to have told me. But they didn't. Um, here, uh, this Professor Bazzoni, cooking with aluminum pull can cause Levels of aluminum in food that are unacceptable according to the values outlined by the WHO, World Health Organization. Uh, I don't even know what that is. It says aluminum toxicity can affect your health. They have linked it to exposures, linked to uh, exposure to aluminum to decreased functions in the central nervous system, Alzheimer's, and bone diseases, also brain tumors. Uh, I don't know if you're going to tell anyone or not. But it negatively affects the brain, it causes memory impairment, learning difficulties, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's. Uh, people with Alzheimer's have aluminum, elevated levels of it. Uh, says exposure to aluminum does affect brain function, causes behavioral, neuropathological, and neurochemical changes. It's linked to osteo. I can say the word. Osteoporosis, where you won't get riddled heart. Um, so, you know, like aluminum foil cooking, bake your food or cook it in heat proof glass or porcelain cook wire. I'll go one better than that. Uh, we, we're, get, we're getting rid of the last of the aluminum cookie sheets we got now. And we're going with either carbon steel that's got a uh, surface, a uh, non-stick surface. It's PTOF, POFA, 
a lot of different things free. They're clean. We also cook a lot with stainless steel and cast iron. Watch your cast iron. If it ain't large, it ain't real. I think there is another company now that's making it. But, like, my wife loves the Pioneer one. All her junk comes from China. You don't want that. They're not exactly, you're, they're not, you're not the first in their mind to, who to take care of. Um, it's, it right here it says use only aluminum foil to uh, store cold food for short periods. Uh, change using aluminum pans to using high quality stainless steel pans. Those are expensive. I know I just bought one. And if you can't afford new ones, which I couldn't, go on eBay, look up some used ones. You'll still pay out the nose for it, but you'll have a quality pan and something you can afford that didn't break the bank. Um, however, this is not possible. All the aluminum pans a few times in water. I just don't see that. Um, Oh, we love our art skillet. Never take and wash one out with soap. And never uh, scrub one. You want that leftover food. You don't want leftover food, but you want that leftover flavor, I should say. Uh, that is uh, the bomb. I mean, it mixes in with everything else. And all of it together mixes the flavors and it'll just it'll make your tongue smack your eyeballs out. Another thing that uh, like these tri-clad frying pans and pots they'll have like stainless steel but then underneath that underneath it all is aluminum eventually it's going to leach into your food it's just going to take it a while so you basically bought junk and probably paid way too much for it. But this is one thing I forgot about. Is aluminum is like a preservative that they put in vaccines. That is real bad because it's going straight into your body. And straight into your bloodstream. Um, it's just amazing what all it does. It will mess you up. Now, if you're going to go to Food Network or Pioneer Woman or uh, whatever cooking show, or you go to Parade or, God forbid, Snopes, which are full of shit. If you go to any one of them and you go to them and ask for advice or try to look up, does this really hurt? They're going to lie to you because they work for the powers that be. And the powers that be just need you as long as you're healthy and young. When you get old and broke down, it's time to get rid of me. Uh, ADHD is hooked to them. Uh, and right there tells about the deodorants. If you want to know the truth, go to Merkla. He's the only doctor, real doctor, that I know of that they can't buy off. And he won't to, he won't, he don't play with them. Uh, what's that one dude's name? Comes on there, Dr. Oz. He's an idiot. That's funny. Uh, who was that? Dr. Bob, which is not actually a doctor. Uh, he just kissed Oprah's butt and got to breathe that. And George Bush. But, uh, with him, he took a flu shot that Dr. Oz gave him and got deathly sick. I've had two when I was at UPS. First one, UPS get paid for, they ran out of drivers. There was routes that didn't get run that day and the next. So the next year they said, we're not going to pay for it. You can get them if you want it. We'll have a nurse here, but we're not going to get them. So, took one in. 
sickest I ever got in my life. Now here's by Dr. Merkula, or Mercola, I never have understood how you pronounce it. Aluminum is a known neurotoxin, according to Professor Christopher Ixley of Kew University. Aluminum containing products are likely fueling the rise in Alzheimer's disease in an article published in Journal Frontiers in Urology. He writes, we are all accumulating a known neurotoxin in our brain from our conception to our death. The presence of aluminum in the human brain should be original. Aluminum can be found in a wide range of consumer products, including foods such as baking powder. I was thinking about that. self rising flour, which has a baking powder already added and usually has aluminum. Salt, I did not know. Baby formula, coffee creamers, baked goods, processed foods, coloring, and cake agents. Drugs such as antacid, analgesics, antidiarrheas, or other additives such as magnesium steroid. Oh, great, I got that right up there. Uh, vaccines, hepatitis A and B, Hib, DTAP. Pre-pneumococcal vaccine, Gardasil. Gardasil is dangerous. Uh, cosmetics and personal care products such as antiperspirants, deodorants, including salt crystals made of aluminum, lotions, sunscreens, and shampoos. Aluminum products include foil, cans, juice pouches, tins, and water bottles. And according to the CDC, five the average adult in the United States consumes seven to nine milligrams of aluminum per day. So, you know, it goes on and on. Right there it is. It's Mercola. Or Mercola. Pesticides. That's I meant to get in on that on the last one. Maybe we'll get into that eventually. Not this one. Though. They're, they're pushing to eat all these vegetables. And, and they say, oh, it's less pollution. If you think that spraying a ton of pesticides and a ton of herbicides and then watching it rain and run off into a river, along with the chemical fertilizers or petrochemicals, if you think that you're growing something, that, or somebody is, and it's less dangerous than a cow fart, you're an idiot. Autism, gastrointestinal diseases. I mean, they know this stuff. And yeah, they're going to go out and they're going to pay Snopes and, which there's another one, Mercury, uh, pay Snopes and all these people to lie to you. And if you're dumb enough to believe them, you deserve what's coming. Right here, whether that funding continues under Bayer is left to them, but other trusted sources were caught taking money, taking Monsanto money. So, you know, they're WebMD. I, I go to them all the time. They were a whore for Monsanto. I didn't know that. I did know that when I first got cutaneous T cell lymphoma, that all the doctors were like, we don't know what brought it on. And then later on, all of a sudden it shoots up our, we know what brought it on, the same thing it brought its sister on in Vietnam, Agent Orange. Did they tell us that? No. Did I, was I smart enough to go looking for the what was? No. But uh, anyway, that's aluminum. If you didn't know about it, you know, the way the world's set up now, they don't they keep you busy enough with television, movies, uh, video games, sports. I mean, in Rome, this is what was called the bread and circuses. They just keep people with a little bit of food and keep them occupied. 
Oh, and mercury. Tattoos are full of mercury. The more tattoos you got, the more you've just poisoned yourself. I mean, I smoke to give myself cancer. And I admit it. And I admit that I knew not to do that. Now you know not to get tattoos all over you. 